Are you there with me yet? Yes. Yes. And it came to pass on a certain day mm -hmm. as he was teaching that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by for it was come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem. And here's, here's where I want to preach from. Help me read that last portion of that scripture. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. Last night, as I, you may see the last night as I was praying, and the Lord just put in my spirit that one passage of scripture. And I want to preach from the subject of the power of the Lord. Amen. My God, the power of the Lord. The power of the Lord. The ability, the force, the issue, the inertia, power, the initiative, the drive, the breaking down, the destroying of anything that's in God's way, in our way. There is power that comes from the law. Yes. Uh, the ability to do something supernatural. Amen. The ability to get a job done. Right. Well, we all know about Judas called the power. Yes. Amen. And we know about the power of dynamite. How many know about the power of dynamite? Yes. I was looking at a uh, project there in the land of Georgia and they stuck some dynamite or something to it and they brought it down this morning. Uh -huh. Well, the old project was probably one of the last ones that's standing high rise apartment complex and I said mm-hmm to the power yeah. to bring it down. Yes. Every now and then there's a big snowstorm in Baltimore. I know because a couple of years ago we was over in St. Martin and you all have a lot of snow here. Yeah. Yeah. And we got on the uh, beach yeah. drinking tropical drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Not alcohol. Yeah. But you all can get out. I have to look at God. Yes, but I also knew that eventually they were going to have to bring out equipment that would have the ability to move the snow. Amen. Therefore, the equipment that they brought out but had, had to have enough power to force something out of the way. Yes. I got good news for you today. God told me to tell somebody in here. I know you've been going through. God knows you've been going through. But we've been made endure for a night. But the power of God has given you going to bring you more. It was empowered by the Holy Ghost to witness. Yes. And, and that word empowered means that God has given us something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I remember, my God, Paul telling Timothy, said, Timothy, I know that you have something in you. Amen. How many know, according to Acts 1 and 8, he said, and ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost comes upon you. Now listen, it's not the power on the outside. That's not the power. When you see us doing this, when you see us running and dancing, that's not the power. No, no, no. The power is already in you. So when you see us shouting and leaping, it's only that which is in us manifesting itself out of us. And every now and then you got to shake yourself loose.
from other days, from challenging days. I just obeyed the word. And the Bible said, uh, jump, leap for joy, and the joy of the Lord becomes your strength. Even Isaiah picked it up in Isaiah 30 and 15. He said, you should, and, and hear what he said, in quietness mm -hmm, and in confidence should be your strength. Oh, uh, no, no. See, sometimes just because you're not shouting and dancing does not mean that you don't have no strength. Sometimes we just pray for others to come through. We're praying sometimes that others get broke, broke loose. Some people are down and we're praying that God will raise them up. I'm going to get to where I need to be, but I need to talk to somebody in here because you've been going through. Showing up and going through it. And the devil's been wrestling me. Uh huh. Bothering you. You've been wrestling back. But I want you to know the morning is coming. Don't you give up. If, if you knock your, uh, if you knock your hip out of socket, keep on living. But don't give up. Because he, God got a blessing that the devil doesn't want you to get. But you got to be just as determined as ever to get that blessing. Well, I got news for you. Sister, right here. Wait, right here. Stand up. Hallelujah. You got a church there where you ask for the church to be. It's already done. Yeah. 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 It's already done. Yeah. It's already done. Yeah. And according to your faith, the manifestation is coming because God heard you the first time.
you drunk. All right. But somebody recognize.